the attention because you always have it. And when something better comes along, you'll grab it. I've talked to guys and I'm looking at them mm -hmm. and I'm saying there's no way you should not be getting women. Yeah. Like I you know the guys on six my six hundred pound life, okay, fine, I give you that. You that big, you scrap to a bed, <laughs> okay, fine. But it's guys here watching this right now who have abs who are five yeah. eleven and can't get women. And it's all due to insecurities. You're afraid to approach a woman. Well, you remove part of your drive with pornography, and so now you don't have that sexual urge to overcome that anxiety, and so you stay timid for your entire life. You know, it's now possible for a young men to look at more beautiful nude women in one day than any man has ever seen, you know, prior to 10 years ago, 20 years ago, than any man in history had ever seen. That's not nothing. That's something. And to think that doesn't do anything to you, it's like, no, that, that's, that likely does something to you. Here's the dating ranges of women by age. So 18 to 22 is their college stage. At this point, they're into doing really strange stuff, uh, sexually and non-sexually, even stuff like witchcraft. They do weird things with like sage candles and stuff. They're into just being as odd as possible. They're gonna grow their armpit hair out and get like a bull nose ring and all that goofy stuff, tattoo weird things on their body. So 22 to 28 is the marry and have kid years. This is when they're gonna be as trad con as possible and just try to have the standard white picket fence you know, tire swing type marriage and bust out as many kids as possible like an amusement park. So 28 to 35, I would say is the divorce saga. This is when, um, you know, the hormones change, their husband can't do anything right. They're not getting the attention they used to get. So they're gonna have kind of a midlife crisis. They're gonna find every Chad, Ray Ray, Tyrone, Pookie, whatever the hell you wanna call it. Uh, and those guys are gonna be with your wife while y'all are, you know, at the end stages of your marriage or as soon as y'all break up. So keep that in mind. 35 to 45 is when they're just trying to be relevant. At this time, they kind of revert back to the college years of doing strange things again. You know, they post weird things about, uh, you know, being Wiccan and all that stuff. They're just trying to stay relevant uh, and they're compensating. So, Kings, stay fresh, stay woke, and immediately when you meet a woman, put her in one of these stages so you can deal with her more effectively. last night he went through his girlfriend's phone while she was asleep i wouldn't have done that but he said curiosity got the better of him i just saw this video shout out to this guy he usually gives good advice but i'm going to talk about the guy that messaged him it's crazy that we live in a world where you could fucking get cheated on but you feel bad because you looked through her phone but you just got cheated on that's crazy i broke trust people talk about trust right how do i know that i should trust you you can't just trust random people, right? You don't just randomly trust someone, a friend that you've known for a year. You have to build trust. And trust is built by seeing people in situations that you usually don't see them in. So if I haven't seen you curve other dudes because you're with me, that has not been built yet. We do not trust each other in terms of that. You don't just build trust out of your ass. You checked your phone and you dodged a bullet. Imagine it went on for five years. Good thing you found out. It's crazy because at the end of the day, your baby daddy won. You making videos about him. And if I'm your new man, I'm asking you, like, why is you still stressing him, bro? You made this video to get at your baby daddy. You can still appreciate your new man without making captions or statuses, whatever it is about your baby daddy. Your baby daddy's still in your head. He won. Like... Every time a man lets a woman down, she becomes more masculine. If you want women to be more feminine, stop. You're supposed to come in a relationship healed and prepared to make this work. You think somebody finna do some extra work because of the shit you allowed yourself to go through? This shit don't make no sense. If a man is acting gay until the right woman come along, she ain't gonna never want him. Ain't you gay? Oh, no, I was just acting like that because sound fucking stupid. Either way, they walking away because you sound stupid. What do y'all be saying? I don't get this, man. You don't have to be feminine. Why?
Why don't WNBA players get paid nearly as much as NBA players? This is super untrue. The WNBA players are actually paid more than the NBA players when you take into consideration the total revenue of their respective leagues. See, these are the numbers that everybody's stuck on. The NBA players bringing home $5.3 million a year, while the WNBA players bring home on average $130,000 a year. If you look at this surface level, then you won't understand the discrepancy between the two numbers. But let's dig into it a little bit more. When we see that the NBA has a revenue of $10 billion and the WNBA has a revenue of $50 million, it starts to become crystal clear as to why that discrepancy exists. But that still doesn't explain how I said that the WNBA players are making almost four times more. So what I'm going to do is show you how much of the total revenue of the league that the women are bringing home and the total revenue of the league that the men are bringing home. And you see that the women are actually making more than what the men are making in terms of the total revenue of their leagues. Here's the WNBA's average salary, here's their league total, and you get 0.22%. Here's the NBA's average salary, here's their league total, you get 0.057%. And when we do that math, 0.22%, which is what the women are bringing home of the total revenue of their league, and 0.057% is what the men are bringing home of the total revenue of their league, we see that the women are paid 3.9 times more than what the men are being paid. Wasn't hard super easy to disprove and i wasn't even taking into consideration how the wnba is a totally failed organization it doesn't produce a profit and it's a hundred percent subsidized by the nba but that's a conversation for another day can lie so, to yourself uh, so like oh i can't have sex without being emotionally tied dude i can you and literally not think about you the next day. Stop exactly. giving yourself that wait, much wait, credit. But no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Let go, let go. Why, why can't you do that? Why? The same reason you guys can, because I'm exactly. not in tune with myself. That's most, why. Most okay, me... women don't behave that way. So when, they, when a most woman women... does, oh, let me finish. When a woman does, and she's a even though a man can and he's a it's different for you than it Why? is for it's me. Why? Because emotionally, Why? those women, we want a woman that can emotionally bond with us, not one that's been a who can't later on. So, hey, hey, so hey, it's hey, different. Hey, let, me, let, me, let me say this. They are more likely hey, to hey, leave hey, you, hey, according to psychology hey, studies, hey, a woman with hey, more than two hey, bodies has a higher hey, rate hey, of hey, divorce hey, with a man, according to psychologist.com. They say don't check your girl's phone, bro, or look at their message or anything, and I, I, I know fucking why. I couldn't understand. I didn't know. I didn't fucking know. The whole time, sat here getting lied to. The entire time while I'm sitting, I'm sitting here trying to get us an apartment, all this shit, and you lying dead to my face, bro. I could have swore I was being crazy. I could have swore. I wasn't, though. For an entire year, I bust my ass, paying bills, making shit happen. Please tell me the point of this shit. Please, how does this make any fucking sense? No matter how long it's been, bro, it could be six years. Six years, you just don't trust them. No matter what, don't fucking trust them. That's my advice to you. Do not trust any of them. They're lying. They're fucking lying. Their minds over it. You know what pisses me off? Everyone thinks it's such a big deal that I had 86 sex partners my Everyone talks year. about that. I don't know, it does sound crazy as fuck to me, too. 86! I feel like there's a... The government turned the lights out. Men would be nominated to be the protector. If there was a flood that came in here in this room right now, all of you guys will jump in the boat and we'll be outside of the boat. If I jump my ass in that boat, all of y'all will look at me like this. The hell are you doing in here? I don't want to die. No, 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 no. Jump your ass out. There's a lady that needs some room. You see what I mean? It wouldn't take much for the men to be protectors overnight, but we tell men to stop doing this, give up this, do this, be fair for this, that, that. There could be a problem on the horizon if we continue that. If you're a man, don't ever allow yourself to not get what you want. Talk to me. What you need to do, boys and girls, is you need to understand the transaction here that's going on, all right? Like, I'm going to give you me, you're going to give you me, and it, usually it's an attraction thing, but chicks will get attracted to you sometimes if you play your game. Do not give them you and all the good stuff and help them and all this shit if they're not giving you what you need. If you're not getting what you want out of this relationship, get the fuck out. And I know we all can't be doing the same exact thing. I'm going to try to say this without being condescending or using any cuss words. A large percentage of y'all women are doing the same exact thing. Look online. 
look on Instagram, look on TikTok, look on Facebook. You all literally say the same exact things. Look through the comment section. You all literally say the same exact comment. Y'all type the same exact comments. Y'all use the same exact insults, the same exact logic, all the way down to the same exact words. Then y'all talk bad about the women that aren't doing the same exact thing that you're doing. When women step outside of your bubble and try to be what men want, you call her a pick me. And then all of you say it. It's like this online world is some type of matrix, man. I'm a 35 year old living with my grandmother. Currently, I lost a 11 year relationship with my girl. Is there any hope? Please be honest. Thanks. No, bro. I mean, you're 35. You live with your grandma, man. Like, probably not. And to be completely honest, if you're if your grandmother is actually the one paying rent, then you probably don't deserve it. To be honest with you, man. So uh, what I would say is it's not too late. I, I can almost guarantee you within six months of being a really, really, really good. And oddly enough, a guy that's living with his grandmother, if you got in like really good shape, you're probably out of that girl's league anyway. By the time you get in good shape, that's this shit happens to guys, man. Guys go through this transformation because they miss their ex-girlfriend. And at the end of the transformation, they realize they were dating a girl several levels down in comparison to what they could actually get. So no, man, you don't deserve that girl. I wouldn't live with your fucking grandma either, man. So nah, bro, you're 35 years old, you're a grown ass man. No, I don't. That doesn't mean I don't care for you. In fact, if anything, I, I'd like for you to get a foot put in your ass so you can get going, man. So no, I don't, man. Get your ass in shape. Don't live with your fucking grandma. Right? You are very combative when it comes to women. You like to go back and forth with women. And wouldn't go back and forth with men in the same way. It doesn't make him zesty, sassy, or feminine. You're just used to men going, ah, oh, she's a woman, let me shut up and let her have it. Used to them weak, soft, soft-spoken, nonchalant type dudes, huh? The reason guys like me don't go back and forth with men is because men don't go back and forth with me. If a man start an argument with me, I'ma finish it. I'm a talker. We can do this all day. <laughs> women hate running into men who can talk with them. And just keep it going. You know how y'all like to keep blip, blip, blip. I'm a ooh, ooh, that's me, ooh, that's me. But y'all hate me in real life. Y'all hate me. Are you not winning no argument that you wrong about? Y'all used to men apologizing for making y'all emotional for being wrong. <laughs> I remember when I stopped doing that for my wife. She'd be wrong and just get emotional, right? And I usually, ah, let me, I meet you. I'm sorry. I was right the whole time, but somehow I ended up apologizing. Women hate when you go, you know what? Nah, 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 nah. Suck that up. Let's, let's keep this going. You just want to win every argument. And you mad that men are arguing back. I have never wanted a man and not gotten him. Do you have any idea how many men have wanted me? Yes, you've commodified your body. You got into the adult entertainment industry and men just want to have a one night experience with you but would never dare commit or get you a ring, start a family, have kids with you, anything. You're damaged goods. That's the truth. of this post like it's like hashtag pain hashtag sad with this sad music i guess it's supposed to be relatable or something i think it's really simple though if you've just started talking to a girl maybe you've gone on one date maybe you haven't gone on a date yet and she starts mentioning other guys drop her the problem that so many guys have is that they get attached before even having any sort of exclusivity with a girl you see the problem that guys have is that they get attached to an idea of a girl You'll get her number, maybe text her a few times, send her a meme or two, and then be sitting there in your bed at night imagining situations of you and her and all these romantic scenarios. Meanwhile, she doesn't even like you. The best advice I can give you is to actually make your intentions clear from the beginning. Stop being afraid of what she might say. Stop being afraid of rejection and stop getting so attached before actually having any sort of real connection or experiences with this girl. If you see this going past your For You page, just remember, have a good night. Keep loving yourself. And keep staying consistent so you can stay motivated and continue to be you.